Hey everyone, what's up? This is Chaz, and welcome to uh, the longly requested video on how to install mods. There hasn't been that many mods, and uh, it's been two days, there hasn't been many mods that have came out for Minecraft 1.4.4 that's actually pretty decent to review, and I've been requested so many times to make a video on uh, showing you guys how to install mods, so I thought, you know, why don't I do it? And uh, that way you guys can install the mods now after uh, seeing this video if I uh, explain it to you guys correctly. So uh, let me go ahead and show you guys what you need to install mods. There's usually uh, two dependencies that mods need, one being mod loader, and if it's not mod loader, it's uh, forge. Now forge isn't really always that common for a mod to have. It's usually mod loader, 95% of the time it's mod loader. So make sure you guys have this on your computer because you're usually gonna need it for any mods that you're gonna install. So download that, you guys just have to click any of the download buttons down here and you'll get that. And then you're just gonna wanna pick out the mod. Now keep in mind that different mods have different installation instructions, but usually it's pretty universal for each mod and uh, I'll be showing you guys how to do that. So we're gonna be installing the shelf mod and uh, I, this is just kind of a small little mod and it's pretty easy to install. Most mods are easy to install. Um, you know, if you guys come to a mod that's very, very hard to install, you can shoot me a little message and I'll be able to tell you guys how to do it specifically. But um, this is the shelf mod. Let me go ahead and pull up my little folder here. So here's the two little items we need. We need the shelf mod itself and mod loader. Now you guys are also going to need a program called WinRAR and that's very, very easy to install. I'll have a link to that in the description. It's just a little program that lets you guys unzip files like this. So what you're going to want to do is open both of the files. We have uh, the shelf mod right here and we have mod loader right here. Now what I recommend you guys do, this isn't required, but I highly suggest that you force update your Minecraft before trying to install mods just so we don't get any conflicting errors. So uh, we have both of our little zips right here and then we're going to go ahead and go into our little start menu right here and type percent app data percent and that's going to pull up a file right here called roaming and once you guys are in roaming you just hit dot minecraft go into your bin folder right here and then you're going to see a little minecraft uh, jar right here now what you're going to want to do and this is why you kind of need winrar you're going to right click it open with winrar archiver and once you do that it's going to open up your uh, minecraft jar now uh, just one very very important thing that you guys have to do there's going to be a file in here um, it's going to be called metainf right here. This is going to keep you guys from not being able to install mods. So the first thing you're going to want to do is delete that immediately. So we're going to do that. And it's going to go away and that's very, very good. You've almost completed most of the steps to installing a, installing a Minecraft mod. So next what we're going to do is just take up our little files right here, mod loader and shelf.zip. And uh, all you guys have to do is highlight all the files in here. So you just press uh, Control A. It's going to highlight all the files and you just go ahead and drag them in to the Minecraft jar. You're going to hit OK. And it's going to put all of those class files into your Minecraft jar. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and X out of the shelf mod. And then all you're going to want to do next is just install the dependency, which uh, for this mod is mod loader. So we're just going to go ahead and do Control All again. And that's going to highlight all of these class files within mod loader. Drag them into uh, the Minecraft jar. And uh, that's pretty much all you have to do. So uh, let's go ahead and X out of both of this stuff right here. Minimize that and uh, minimize that, minimize that. And uh, there you go. You guys can see the little sound program I used to record. And let's go ahead and open up uh, Minecraft. Put that to full window. And it's gonna go ahead and go through Mojane and all that stuff. And uh, single player, let's go ahead and just go into a world right here. And uh, hopefully the shelves are in my creative inventory just because I don't want to have to craft them for you guys. So uh, let's just go down here, right here, shelf. All right, and there are our shelves. You guys can pull them out like so. And uh, let's go ahead and try this out, see if we can put some items on here. So we're going to put down all of our different shelves right here, put our redstone on it, it's like so. Put some ink sacks, redstone, iron ingots, and uh, there you guys go. You've now installed your first mod, the shelf mod. So uh, yeah, there you guys go. Hopefully that kind of helps you guys out and uh, clears up a couple questions you guys have about installing mods. Now I'm gonna try and reply to as many comments as I can. Um, I don't see why you guys should be having any problems, but in case you do, I'll try and reply to them and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully we'll finally have some decent mods out tomorrow which I'll be able to review for you guys. And uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps up this little installation tutorial. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I would appreciate it if you guys took half a second to, uh, leave a rating. Other than that, this has been Chaz, and, uh, I will talk to you guys later.